Some of the numerous different celestial bodies dispersed across the endless expanses of the cosmos, some that are as close to our home planet, have been preying on human minds ever since it was discovered that there were other worlds out there that were suitable for life. Scientists have discovered thousands of planets beyond the solar system, but the majority of them are completely different from Earth. Until now. Let's find out. The Earth Similarity Index, also abbreviated as ESI, is a metric that was developed by scientists and is predicted on a number of essential criteria. A planet's atmosphere in terms of its density and temperature. This combination can be used to estimate many different aspects of an object, including its mass, chemical makeup, gravitational level, and atmosphere. Additionally, it helps determine whether the surface of the planet is covered in liquid water or not. The Earth is used as the benchmark for this index because its parameters are typically considered to be ideal. The similarity index of Earth, which is also one, serves as the foundation for the CSI value. There are three overarching categories that can be used to classify everything that we know about the world. The first category, contains things like gases and ice giants, in addition to things that are extremely hot or extremely cold and have an ESI score of less than 0.5. Even if only one of the characteristics of a body in the solar system exceeds its maximum allowable value, the conditions of a celestial object become unfavorable for the emergence and continued existence of life. Consider the planet Venus, which is comparable to Earth in terms of its radius and mass, but has a much higher average surface temperature than our planet because it's closer to the Sun and has a thicker atmosphere. Celestial objects that fall into the second category have an ESI that ranges between 0.5 and 0.7. The majority of these worlds are composed of rocks and have temperatures that are on the cooler side but they can also be ocean worlds or even some large satellites of Earth. These worlds are similar to Earth in more ways than one. In point of fact, having a high Earth likeness index does not ensure that the conditions are favorable to life. Low mass planets, for instance, frequently aren't able to keep an atmosphere that's dense enough to support life. And their magnetic fields aren't strong enough to protect the surface of the planet from radiation that can cause fatalities. It's possible for other celestial bodies to be located in such close proximity to their parent star that they end up becoming tidally locked. Obviously, the existence of all these obstacles drastically decreases the likelihood that life ever existed. The incredible world was found to have originated from a tiny red dwarf that was given the name Tea Garden B in the year 2003. This star is so faint that it cannot even be observed with the naked eye, despite the fact that it is situated relatively close to the planet Earth. The mass of the star is only 9% of that of the Sun, and its radius is only 5% larger than that of Jupiter. As a result of the internal thermonuclear reaction of the star only being barely sustained by gravitational forces, the surface temperature of a red dwarf is only 2,900 Kelvin, which is equivalent to about 2,630 degrees Celsius. This is the same as the surface temperature of all other red dwarfs. It has a relatively small habitable zone and is situated relatively close to T. Garden's star. Both of these exoplanets have nearly perfect circular orbits with radii of 0.045 astronomical units. One of these planets is located beyond the star's habitable zone, and the other is located beyond the orbit of the outer planet. Both of these planets were found in the star's system in 2019. It completes one orbit around the sun every 11 and a half days. Due to the low luminosity of its parent star, the planet's surface temperature is extremely inhospitable, despite the fact that its radius is estimated to be approximately 3.5% larger than that of our planet. 
The extrasolar planet is only 5% larger than our own planet in terms of both its mass and its radius, which indicates that its gravitational value is also quite close to what we are accustomed to on Earth. As a result of this, it is reasonable to hypothesize that the core of the exoplanet is composed of a massive metallic core that is encased in a thick layer of mold and silicate mantle that is on the centimeter scale. The fact that the surface temperature of the planet is 28 degrees Celsius higher than that of Earth means that it can shrink to half its size while still retaining liquid water, and that the temperature profile of the planet is suitable for the majority of microorganisms. The radial velocity method, which is used to detect extrasolar planets like T Garden B, is insufficient to obtain any information about the composition of the atmosphere of these planets because of this. It is important to keep in mind, however, that the temperature distribution of a planet is directly influenced by its atmosphere. For instance, a planet with a dense atmosphere that contains a high proportion of methane and carbon dioxide will have a higher average temperature. Because of its location so close to its parent star, this celestial body, as fascinating as it may be, is not without flaws. Because of this, the T Garden B is always facing it in the same direction, which causes temperature differences between the day side and the shadow side of the body. This red dwarf star has a propensity for suddenly increasing the amplitude of the amount of light that it emits, as I have already mentioned. The number of new worlds discovered in the last 20 years has been hundreds of times greater than in the entire history of observations. And one can't help but think that soon the long-awaited seeds of Somalian life will be discovered in some corner of the universe. Thanks to technological advancement, the number of new worlds discovered in the last 20 years has been hundreds of times greater than in the entire history of observations. What do you think about these new exoplanets? What will this mean for humankind in the future? Thank you for watching the video till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for the latest news and James Webb Space Telescope updates. We're sure you'll love the following video. Click on the video on the screen to continue to be amazed at everything about space travel.